Hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome to the channel today. If you enjoyed this review, please drop a like and please subscribe down below. I appreciate all the support from everybody. Plain orange box in front of us. And by the title of the video, you can tell we have an interesting pair, something a little bit different. I don't usually cover tennis shoes, but this is an actual Nike Zoom Vapor AJ3, which is Air Jordan 3 inspiration in a white racer blue black colorway, men's size 13. And retail was not posted on the side, but these are kind of high at 180 US. Inside, plain white paper. And this particular pair of Nike Vapor released on, I believe, April 14th of 2023 for 180 US. So, this is what we are looking at today. So, a little history on the Zoom Vapor here. <clears throat> and why this shoe became so popular in the Nike Court series was mainly due to Roger Federer. So back in 2004, he debuted the Vapor Speed, I believe it was, and that was his second Wimbledon title, third major title of his career. And then 14 years later in 2018, I think 81% 200 athletes that are signed with Nike wore some point of the Vapor series. So whether it be the Vapor Speed, uh, Zoom Vapor, any of the Vapor series. So it became a very, very, very popular sneaker because of Roger Federer. He really made this whole series of Nike take off. And this one today is a Zoom Vapor with an AJ3 inspiration. So you can kind of see where they've taken hints of the Jordan 3 by some of the eyelets, by the elephant print. So this cement print you see going on here has a nice little texture to it. The white leather, I would say here, this white tumbled leather effect going across the upper, the leather quality is nice on these. Remember they are 180, so it is a high retail, but even for 180, sometimes we don't get the proper quality. These feel nice to the touch. The leather will break in nicely. It feels soft. So, I mean, the quality is really good on these. I think it's better than your average Jordan Retro. That's just my opinion, but I really think they did a good job with these. In terms of sizing, I would probably say stay true to size. If you have wide feet, maybe go up. But as you can see, the shoe is not too narrow. It's got some space to it. And remember, this is meant for a hard court for tennis. So when you have a performance shoe, you don't want it to be too big, but you also don't want it to be actually really tight. So do proper sizing when it comes to shoes for performance reasons. For casual walking, you might be able to go down or up half a size. You don't have it be a little small or big. But when you're dealing with something on court like basketball or tennis, I would stick with what fits best, not, oh, I'm going to settle for this. And here is a little bit of white flat leather going underneath that tumbled effect. White midsole coming up. This is kind of like a patent leather look, but it's not. It's just a painted gloss over the rubber. White rubber underneath. You have a little bit of that racer blue on the back. There is your hard court flat outsole. And there is the sticker right there, non-marking outsole. And around the back, nice little touch, you have the Nike Air as opposed to a Jumpman logo. So I like how that is posted there. And the Jumpman logo, I think, would have just thrown it off. I like the way this looks. It looks a lot better. And you have a little bit of that tab effect you would get on the Jordan 3. And same thing with the print going across on the back. Looks really nice in person. And there's a look at your toe box going up. You only have one pair of laces, unfortunately, which is the white ones you see. You have some racer blue going on the lower eyelets. The other eyelets are just the leather going through the material on the upper. A little bit of mesh canvas underneath that. Your tongue is leather going all the way up. So it does continue the leather. Even at the three quarters mark, it still cuts off and has the tumbled leather effect going up. And underneath your laces, you have a nice racer blue stitched in Jumpman logo on the top of the tongue. Your lining is the racer blue. And then you have a Nike court underneath your heel with the swoosh logo i think it's a good pickup if you want something a little bit different they do throw me off kind of because of the era uh, jordan 3 twists so they look a little weird in hand but overall i think it's a pretty cool buy for if you want to wear something that might not be on everybody else's feet you know like panda dunks air forces so this is a solid buy uh 180 is a little high once again i would probably go true to size but other than that, I'm curious what you guys think of these. Let me know down below in the comments. I want to hear everybody's opinion on this shoe. It is still weird. hasn't quite grown on me, so my opinion is kind of up in the air about them. But other than that, I thank you guys for stopping by today, watching the video. I hope you stick around. I have more good stuff coming shortly, and I hope everybody has a good day. All right.